It's late on a Sunday, I'm aware, but I want to get this video out because some of you might be revising for a non-calculator exam on Tuesday morning, and probability is one of those topics that uh, very frequently show up in those, those exams, and also a stumbling block for many. So I thought I'd go through this question quickly and give some tips on how to approach them if, if maybe you're not so confident with this subject. So this question says, there are only three red counters and five yellow counters in a bag. Jude takes out random three counters from the bag. Work out the probability that he takes exactly one red counter. Okay, the tip I'm going to suggest here is to use a tree diagram. Now, it's not the only way to answer these problems, but it is kind of like a fail-safe method. You know, if you're feeling stuck, diagram, tree diagram, if you're feeling stuck or you're not sure where to start, I would suggest trying to draw a, a tree diagram. And I'm going to suggest this This is kind of like a fail-safe method. Okay, so where to start with drawing a tree diagram? Well, you want to look out for uh, how many picks you're required to take. So this is where it says something like, takes at random three counters from the bag. That means we're going to have three sections of the tree diagram. And then look out for how many things you're picking from. So in this case, we've got red counters and yellow counters. That means each section of the tree diagram needs two branches. So we're going to start off with two branches. Okay, so one is red and one is yellow. And then we need to do this twice more uh, because again, we're taking three picks. So the second branch, well, the second lot of branches is going to be again, red and yellow. And then the third one, again, red and yellow. And okay, this might not be the quickest method, but it's uh, going to save you in those times where you might have had maybe a brain freeze, or again, you might not be completely confident with this subject. And if you start drawing a tree diagram, uh, I think it's really going to get you out of that pickle. Okay, so then go back to the question that says, we want to work out the probability that he takes exactly one red counter. So now you get, well, you can't have a highlighter, but... Uh, think about the branches, the possible branches we're looking at here. Um, so you could maybe outline them with your pen. So we want exactly one red counter. So we could take the first red, the first pick could be red, and then the next two picks need to be yellow. So that's a branch we're looking at. Then you could pick a yellow in the first pick, and then a red, and then the third pick must be a yellow. Or you could pick two yellows and the final pick could be red. So they're the only three branches on this tree that we care about. Okay, then you need to think about the probabilities for each branch. And this is a step where you really need to pay attention. So on the first branch for red, we've got three red counters out of how many? What's the total? It's eight because we've got three red and five yellow. So the probability of picking a red on the first pick is three out of eight. And for yellow, it's five out of eight. Okay, the second branch is where a lot of people trip up. Okay, so you've already picked a counter. Be aware of that. You've picked a counter out of the bag. So how many counters will you have left over in the bag? You're going, to, you're going to have one less in total. So you're going to have seven counters. But we still have five yellow counters in the bag. So the probability of picking a yellow on the second pick, if we pick a red on the first pick, is five out of seven. Okay, make sure you're you're getting these probabilities on the branches correct. Then uh, a yellow on the third pick, if you've picked a red, then a yellow, well, you have four yellow counters left in the bag and six in total, so that's four out of six. Again, be really careful when you're calculating those probabilities for the branches. Going down here, for the second pick on this branch, where we pick red, yellow, then red, we're going to still have three red counters in the bag, but seven in total. Then if we pick a yellow third on this branch, we're going to have four yellows left over and six in total. Then the second yellow pick, after picking yellow first, that's going to be four out of seven. And can you tell me what this final one will be? How many reds left over? That's three out of six. So six counters in total in the bag. Okay, now we need to work out the probability of each branch. So for this branch up here, red, yellow, yellow, we're picking a red, which is three out of eight, and a yellow, so we multiply. Remember, when we say and in these types of problems, we multiply, multiply. So three on, three on eight, multiplied by five on seven, multiplied by four on six. 
and you might notice that all of these are actually going to be the same, right? 5 on 8 multiplied by 3 on 7, that one there, multiplied by 4 on 6, and then the final uh, path is 5 on 8 multiplied by uh, 4 on 7 multiplied by 3 on 6. Okay, so all of these multiplications are the same, right? So we really just need to work this one out, and the hardest part of that really is 8, 8 times 7 times 6, which is 56 times 6. Again, this is non-calculator, so we have to do a bit of uh, maybe mental multiplication or some long multiplication on your page, uh, but maybe you can see 50 times 6 is 300, 6 times 6 is 36, so this is 336. So the denominator there is 336, and then the numerator is 15 times 4, 15 times 4 is 60, and we're going to get the same for all of these, right? So the numerator is all 3 times 5 times 4, and the denominators are all 8 times 6 times 7. So 60 over 336 for each uh, operation there. Okay, now we have the probabilities of each path, and we could get red and yellow and yellow, or yellow and red and yellow. So when we say or, we add. So we want to add these fractions up. So in total, the probability of getting exactly one red, exactly one red, and also I should point out we need to pay attention to the language used because sometimes it will say at least one red and then you need to consider um, many more paths here in this tree diagram. So exactly means we get exactly one red, pretty self-explanatory, but look out for sometimes it will say at least and something else. So that will be a different outcome again. So the probability here of exactly one red will be 60 plus 60 plus 60 is 180 out of 336. And don't waste your time simplifying. If it doesn't say to simplify the answer, you can leave it as this. This is equivalent to any other you know, correct answer you'll get. So just leave the fraction unsimplified, go on to your next question. Don't waste time on that. Okay, hopefully uh, that was useful to you. Uh, I don't want you to trip up on these types of questions. They are very common in non-calculator exams. And if you're feeling confident now, hopefully that shows up and, and you can get some, some easy marks there. So good luck. Uh, also, there's a live stream tomorrow with T-Formula. That will be at 7 p.m. So come and join in there for some extra revision as well. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.